So hello everyone, my name is Carolis and uh, together with me today is Rainier and Christina from Orgus University and uh, I'm glad to, to uh, see that they will uh, tell you uh, information today about uh, study possibilities in Aarhus University. Today will be a webinar about study opportunities in Aarhus University about master programs and uh, just uh, not to waste our time, I will give uh, a word to Rainer and Christina and they will do a presentation. And also, don't forget uh, to write uh, questions and uh, we will be answering uh, uh, them during our webinar. So, uh, Rainer and Christina, please, uh, I will, I'm giving the word to you and uh, let's start. Thank you, Paralys. Uh, hello and, uh, and welcome to this uh, webinar. My name is Rainer Jasmine, as uh, Carol has said. Uh, I work for uh, Aarhus PSS, Aarhus University. Uh, and yeah, my colleague, Christina. I'm here. Um, yeah, and I also work with the international recruitment at uh, Aarhus PSS, Aarhus University, together with Rainier. Yes. Uh, before we start, uh, I can see that there are 11 uh, of you guys that out there. So if you have individual questions, please send us um, your question during this uh, or at the chat function, and we can easily answer it either just individual or if it's relevant for everybody, then we will uh, just read it aloud and then we will answer your question if it's, of course, relevant for everybody. Other than that, I think we will uh, start the presentation. Uh, just remember that uh, this presentation we will send to you afterwards, so you don't need to write everything down, all the contact information, all the, the links that we've added here uh, will be sent to you. And also, we're not, we don't have time to show you the videos uh, or video, so you can also uh, have a look at that when you get the presentation or just Google it. Okay, I'll start the presentation and... All right, so this is today's agenda. First of all, we'll say welcome to Aarhus University. We strongly encourage you to uh, watch this video once we have finished the presentation because it gives you a very good uh, idea of what Aarhus and Aarhus University and Aarhus PSS is like. But obviously we'll also be talking about living in Aarhus, uh, the fact that Aarhus University is a top 100 ranked university. We'll give you some facts about Aarhus PSS. Uh, Raniel will tell you about the master programs offered in English um, and go into specifics about the Master's in Commercial and Retail Management. He will also tell you something about admission requirements. There'll be other inf important information. And finally, I'll give you some tips from our international students. Of course, you will also receive our contact information. As Rainier said, please uh, let us know if you have any questions and we'll try to answer them as uh, good as possible along the way. And uh, if anybody has problems with uh, hearing us or uh, seeing the presentation, you're also welcome to send us a chat message. But let's get to it. So, Aarhus is a small city, but it's a city that has everything that a student wants. It has beaches, it has harbor, a nice harbor with some cafes and restaurants. It has a forest within a 15 minutes bike ride. It's the number one student city of uh, Denmark. And uh, we have 345,000 inhabitants. It's a really well-educated city and a very, very young city as well. So this also means that we have a very vibrant and cultural atmosphere in the city. There's always something going on. So we call it the world's smallest international city. This is a picture of our university. This is the main building from the university that uh, dates back to 1928. And uh, it is situated in the heart of the university park. So as you can see in front of it, uh, in front of it we have the lush green um, the Lush Green Park, where we also have events and where you can sit together with your student group and do project work along with, uh, with just, you know, having fun and, and uh, whatnot. The university covers four, uh, actually five faculties, uh, and one of them is BSS, which we are representing today. That's the Business and Social Science faculty. We are 45,000 45, students. 
out of which 12% are internationals. We have 28% PhD students, so that's also a way for you to go. And we are representing more than 120 nationalities. So you will be able to meet people from all over the world. We're really proud to say that we're a top 100 university as well. Here is, a, here is some examples of our rankings. So as you can see, we are ranked in the Shanghai, Shanghai ranking as number 60, National Taiwan uh, University ranking number 89, Latin ranking 108, and so on. So what you can expect when you are applying for a master's at Aarhus University and Aarhus PSS is very high academic standards and a very well-recognized university uh, master degree to take with you on for the future. We also have a triple crown accreditation, which again emphasizes the high academic standards. We are a research-based university, so what you can also expect is that the professors are always updated with the newest knowledge. This is due to the fact that they're doing research on the side. So they will be bringing in the newest knowledge to you during the lectures. As I mentioned, Aarhus BSS is one of the five faculties at Aarhus University. So BSS is the School of Business and Social Science. We are approximately 15,000 students representing 80, more than 80 different nationalities. And we have the main campus in Aarhus. The picture that I showed you before of the main building of Aarhus University is from the main campus. But we also have a smaller campus situated approximately one hour away from Aarhus, and that's in Herning. So as you can see in the picture, we have Aarhus situated by the sea and one hour away in the heart of Denmark, surrounded by the green fields, we have Herning, smaller campus, but a very international campus and also a campus where we often hear the students referring to it as an American campus. And this is due to the fact that there are fewer students there and you have all of the facilities you need on campus. This means that many students tend to stay there. And this creates a very, very lively and young cultural atmosphere. The study environment at Aarhus BSS is also something very, very special and something we are really proud of. And this is due to the fact that we have great facilities. Obviously, we have internet, you'll have Wi-Fi everywhere in all buildings and very well working Wi-Fi. I want to emphasize this because that's not the, the case everywhere. So it's just really, really fast speed Wi-Fi we have. We have group rooms that you can uh, reserve. We also have classrooms. We have big lecture halls. We even have um, a huge library. And in the library, which is available for you 24 seven, you can also go down to the basement and relax for a little bit. Because in the basement, you'll be able to find massage chairs, a meditation room for the boys, or maybe also the girls, a gaming room with a PlayStation. Um, and we also have a ping pong table because we know how important it is to stimulate the creativity for the students who are working so hard reading all the time. Sometimes you need a break. And that's what you can also get at Aarhus University, both in the park or when inside in the basement of the library. You also have a very, very close contact with the lecturers. This means that whenever you have questions, you should never hesitate to ask a professor. The professors are obviously very, very professional, but also very down to earth. This means that we do not we do not use phrases such as Mr. or Mrs. or Sir or Madam. No, we just call each other by the first name. And that's how it is. So in general, a very low hierarchy where we uh, try to uh, foster a good atmosphere for discussing things and uh, being open all the time. You will meet a lot of international students also at Aarhus University. And you will be able to use some of the many student services because we have, for instance, a career center that, uh, that can help you 
um, you know, find your find a student job maybe or something like that. But I'm going to go and get some inspiration while studying or just to relax. The campus, the main campus in Aarhus is very, very big and it has been expanding over time. This means that the picture that I showed you just before, which is also here up in, up in the left side corner, is the main building back, that dates back to 1928, where we have added newer buildings since. So obviously, we have the most Can you can you hear me, Carolis? Yeah, I can hear you, but uh, somehow with the Christina's connection is something uh, wrong. Exactly. Christina's connection is uh, um, she's still talking at the same. Uh, same. Yeah. Uh, I'll just uh, text her. Yeah, maybe you can try to text her. Maybe she can just uh, try to reconnect. Because yes, something else happened to her. So sorry, uh, guys, for the problem. We will just try to solve it as soon as possible. Okay. She uh, uh, she actually just left please. and then she's back yeah. again. Yes. Yeah, so she is here, and uh, I can see that she is here. I can uh, I can continue while she's. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe you can continue and yeah. I'll just uh, see if, yeah. I think oh, Christina. She, she's back. I'm, I'm back now. Okay. Okay. Very good. Yeah, Very good. Ready. I don't know what happened with the connection or something like that. But so, we can um, hear it now. Perfect. Um, yeah. So what I was talking about is that we have all of the great facilities, um, both when it comes to uh, activities for indoors, but also for outdoors. And in Aarhus, we're really proud about having the sea. Uh, around us, so we uh, use it a lot for water sport activities. And now, Rania will continue with the master programs. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I don't know if everybody heard it, but uh, also we have this very, uh, very popular and very famous art museum called Aros. Can you just talk about that? Because we didn't hear about that, Christina. Yes, of course, of course. So what I was mentioning is that up in the right side corner, we have the beautiful art museum called Aros. And on top of Aros, you have the possibility to see Aarhus from a 360 uh, degree panoramic view and in different colors. So this is a great experience as well. And it's also very high, uh, highly acknowledged both in, in Aarhus, but also internationally. Definitely. Definitely. And, yeah, this is just one of the museums that of uh, that Aarhus can offer. Uh, we're actually uh, uh, we have a, a quite few of uh, museums. So if you're interested in art and culture, uh, then uh, this is also the right city to go to. Okay, let me continue. Uh, so I hope all thirteen of you guys are here for the master programs because this is uh, the topic for today. We're gonna talk about the master programs. Uh, as you can see here, we have. Uh, political science, economics and management, quantitative economics, and then the mix between engineering and business, technology-based business development in Hanning. But the main focus today will be the profiles within economics and business administration. Here we have 15 different profiles um, that you can choose from. All of them are two-year master programs and all of them uh, is in English. But today I will be uh, focusing on our newest program, which is called commercial and retail management. Um, so yeah, uh, if you have any questions during these slides, feel free to send a, a chat or a question to uh, to Christina and uh, and um, and Carolis. All right, uh, let me just go back to the slides here. Good. Uh, the commercial and retail management program focuses on managerial cha challenges. So this will be within consumer goods industry. Uh, and uh, if this is a, a completely new program uh, made of of the demand of uh, of some of the biggest companies that we have here in Denmark, 
So the traditional division of the business to business and business to consumer markets is developing towards this uh, engagement or 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 um, or, um, or integrating mindset between these two uh, these two aspects. And then, of course, the supplier must increasingly consider the entire value chain right through to the customer uh, consumer while the retailer must structure its supply relations with an eye for how to create value for the uh, consumer as well as the cons uh, the cons customer as well as the consumer so as you can see these are some slides that we just got in uh, they're fairly uh, the program is fairly new and their professors and the staff is not all set yet so uh, it will be very very interesting to see how this flies uh, i think the best way to introduce this is also to introduce the founding fathers. So I don't know if you know these company, uh, they're quite big within retail uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the industry in Denmark. Best seller, uh, as you can see, is a big, big company that's behind uh, Jack and Jones, very moda, uh, clothing company, stuff like that. Yusk, you probably know, Danish Crown also and Arla. But yeah, these are just some of the the, 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 the the founding fathers behind this program that we've started uh, for this year's intake. Uh, the difference will be that there will be a student partner interaction, much more than, um, than previous programs. Uh, so this means that some of the people from these companies, there will be guest lectures, you will be offered internships, and then of course, for the master thesis, there will be a collaboration uh, with these companies that uh, that uh, that is that is um, that is behind this program, and then of course we will also uh, offer. They will also offer relevant student jobs for you guys if you're interested in that. But the most interesting of this program is the internship that will be a major part of the new program, and will be 20 success points. So this is uh, this is um, quite unique for for an MSc program. Uh, and of course, uh, this will pave the way for a faster climb up to the career ladder. So if you are very ambitious, this is a program for you within this uh, sector. Just to show you the program structure, it will be two years, four semesters. So the first semester will be uh, four, uh, you, will, you will do four specific courses, Introduction to Value Chain Management, Retail Strategy and Commercial Innovation, consumer behavior in a retail setting, and then research methods, which uh, will always be the case for OSPSS because it's a research-based university. The second semester, you can see the, the courses again, which are specific and compulsory. So all these courses you need to follow, pass, and the exams will be very different. Some of them will be take-home exams. Some of them will be oral exams. Some of them will be group presentations or group exams. So it will be very, very different according to the course and according to the professors. And some of the professors here will be new. Uh, so, um, so this will be quite flexible. Now, as you can see uh, in the third semester, that will be for the second year, you will have the internship or the project. Uh, that's uh, 20 success points. And then uh, at the same time or afterwards, you can also choose electives within these, um, within these fields. Uh, and then for the fourth semester, uh, it will basically focus on the master thesis. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just to uh, to elaborate on the third semester, uh, the internship can either be in Denmark or abroad. So if you already know some of the some other international companies, either uh, in your home country or other places in Europe or in the world, then this is also uh, an option. Uh, we will obviously encourage you to compete this internship and then of course uh, there will be a big connection with the with the partners or the companies uh, so 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 yeah you will be introduced to them so we can see if there are a lot of openings coming up for the internships at the same time you will also have the option to elect or select electives at the summer university uh, the courses could be contract management cross-cultural business competence sustainability and CSR, people management and others. So if you want to have summer courses at OSH University, that's also possible. The third option will actually be an exchange for the third semester. So there will be, um, we have, I think about around 300 different partner universities all over the world. 
And if you would be interested in going on exchange or studying abroad on the third semester, this is also possible. Okay, let's move on. You just uh, interrupt if there are any questions, all right? We have, we have one question right now, and that's Basia uh, Jakubik asking, uh, hello, there won't be a strategic uh, communication program this year. Uh, the program is available on the website. Now I'm just about to, to answer that one. So yeah, the, pro the program is available on the website. The program is especially designed for um, bachelor students coming from the, MA uh, the MMC program, which is uh, uh, only offered at BSS. So unfortunately, it will only be available for these uh, students. Yeah. However, we have another uh, another. Um, MSc program about uh, strategy, organization, and leadership, and I'll just then a uh, link for it so that you guys can read about it. Exactly. Good. I hope that was a clear answer. Uh, and yes, we know it's annoying that it's available on the website, but we're not recruiting for international students. But uh, as Christina said, that's uh, how they they try to solve the problem. Okay. So the fourth semester, um, the master thesis. Um, the procedure for this is that, of course, you need to find an interest in or choose a topic. Uh, either you can write the thesis alone or you can do it in a group of two. Then, of course, you will have a lot of contact with uh, with different uh, partners or different companies or sub partners. Uh, and if you can use them, them or their companies to build a case, then that would also be, of course, uh, an advantage for you guys. There will be, of course, a supervisor uh, from the university. Either it will be one of the, either the supervisor will be one of the the professors that you met during the first two semesters, or you can choose another supervisor which you might uh, you might feel is better within the field that you're going to write about. And then, of course, you will write this tentative synopsis, um, work on the topic, and get supervision during your uh, your master thesis. When you submit it. Uh, or after you've submitted it, you, there will be an oral defense of the master thesis. So that's why it will take more or less the whole fourth semester to do this master thesis, which is 30 test points. Okay. Let's move on. All right, career opportunities, which is, of course, very important for this program and the other programs. Uh, let's just start with the examples. Uh, business developer, category manager, e-commerce manager, key account manager, marketing manager, franchise and retail manager, pro product and brand manager, procure manager, sales manager, etc., etc. It says CEO on the at the bottom, but this is obviously because if you're really, really ambitious and and uh, and have a lot of really good skills, also within uh, within um, uh, uh, managing or management. Then you will, of course, be able to climb uh, your career ladder and, and become a CEO. But uh, yeah, this is just uh, to to give you guys an example of all the the future career moves uh, that you you might end up with if you take this program. Uh, of course, if you're interested in this one. All right. Uh, so that was just one example for for, for from one of the MSC profiles. According to the MSc profile that you are interested in, it will of course be uh, be the courses that you're going to to take within the first two years. But the third and the fourth semester will be much more or will be similar for all the master programs that we offer at OSPSS. Okay, so for the admission requirements, for all the MSc profiles, these are the main requirements that you need to focus on. You need to have, of course, a three or four year bachelor degree within economics and business administration. But on top of that, there will be specific requirements. And uh, these six uh, courses will be the most important one for you. So if you can recognize that you have these courses, then you're good. If not, then we need to have a look uh, at your uh, courses. Uh, and you need to send a course description because maybe you need to do a supplementary course, one or two. But quantit quantitative and qualitative methods, managerial economics and operation management, marketing, finance and accounting, organizational leadership theory, microeconomics, all these six courses really need to have in order to get in or be uh, be offered uh, one of the spots for, for the MSG profiles. Yeah, uh, let's move on. Besides this, you only need 
to send an English language test. So you can either choose to, we need, uh, we only require uh, an English level B. So if you choose the TOEFL, you need to have an overall, overall score of 83. If you choose the IELTS, you need to have an overall score of 6.5. If you take the Cambridge, you need to have 180 points as minimum on the Cambridge English scale. Now, if you have any questions about these, you can always send us a uh, your your, uh, your email, or you can also just contact Carlos and his team. Uh, they can also help with uh, with um, explaining both the English requirements, but also the specific requirements for you guys. Okay. Uh, any questions for these slides? Yeah, so a supp uh, supplementary question from uh, Basia. She was asking, or he, I don't know, I'm sorry if I said something wrong, but, but the question was uh, which of the programs would have the least theory and which would be most uh, practical? Um, my answer to that would be the one that you have just um, introduced, Renier, uh, the CRM. So that's the commercial retail management, and that's due to the fact that we have such a close um, tie with the with the businesses here. So you will have real time cases, and you will have also uh, an uh, an option to to take an internship at one of the companies. Yeah, again, of course, it depends on really on your interest. Uh, we also have the technology based business development, which also have really close ties to the companies and they have company related project uh, after each semester so i think the most important thing or a most in, important advice that we can give you is to choose the programs that you are interested in studying uh, because the other programs will also have the opportunity to go to an internship or exchange uh, so yeah we have we have different setups uh, for the each profiles but if you choose one of the other MEC programs, you will also have access to our career service center, which Christina said in the beginning, and they can actually advise you or help you contact a lot of other companies, both public and private, if you choose to go to do an internship or uh, something else. Yeah. Uh, more questions? Not for now. Yeah, yeah uh, oh. I would like to... Uh... Uh, I'll continue and see question. whether it's me or your turn, Christina. Yeah, because applicants uh, sometimes they ask, uh, do they need uh, to, yeah. to have... Uh, a uh, this is just to give you some deadlines. Uh, these are the official deadlines. 1st of March, uh, midnight, before midnight, obviously. That's, uh, that's the final deadline for applying for our programs. You can apply to up to three different programs for our university. Uh, make sure to do it before uh, the 1st of March. And if you if you are already all set to do it, then uh, please apply before because it will also always be a problem if you wait to the very last minute or last day. And that's also why Carlos and his team has put on the deadline of 27th. So uh, again, if you are ready, contact him and his team and he can help you uh, submit uh, your application so you don't need to wait for the very last minute when you have submitted you uh, you will uh, you can expect to get a, rep a reply to your application between 1st of may and 10th of june and the deadline for accepting hopefully an offer is the 15th of june and then uh, we have a later deadline for uh, for other documentation for for the english test we actually have the 1st of august and if you need, need to take a, a supplementary course or you still haven't completed your bachelor's degree and you're waiting for your diploma, you can also send that in. And that's even with a later deadline. It will be announced to be announced TBA uh, on the web page, but it will be anywhere in August or September. So the most important thing for you with this slide is to send your application as soon as possible. Uh, but the final deadline, of course, is 1st of March. Uh, but we can advise you to do it as soon as possible if you're already ready. Any questions for this one? Um, yeah, I, I just... Uh, these are important links and uh, uh, information for, uh, for, for the embassy profiles. Uh, and yeah, you can always just have a look at them and see if you have already understood all the, the, the processes and procedure for applying for our program. So we have a Good. question from uh, Mikulai. Can you hear me? Yeah, we, I, I can hear you. Uh, I'm not able to hear uh, if you're saying anything, Christina. Hmm. Can you hear me now? 
Okay, I'll just continue. Um, this is uh, this slide is of course important because uh, I presume that all of you are EU citizens, and if you are, and if you get in, you get admitted. That then there's no tuition fee. It's free for you to study in Denmark uh, and at Aarhus University. Normally, it will cost ten thousand euro per year for a two-year master program, and if it's the program called Technolo Technology Based Business Development, it will be thirteen thousand five hundred euros plus 100 euro administration fee. But if you're all EU citizens, then there's no tuition fee, it's free to study. You're even allowed to work part-time. And if you work part-time between 10 and 20 hours a week, then of course, uh, there's no problem in getting or having a student job. Uh, the approximate living expenses, it's 800 euros per month. Uh, there will be more information about AU housing, Christina will talk about later. And then, of course, we'll just highlight this career and job service that we are offering. If you do come and if you do get in uh, and you want to stay and work after graduation, it's always a good idea to just book a session with our career center. They will give you access to this job bank. It's a database where you can look for internship, student jobs, jobs after graduation, etc., etc. And then, of course, the working conditions and job after gradu graduation will be something that we will be focused on focusing on during your uh, your program uh, here at OSPSS. Good, again, contact information for the mission. You can even call them, web, uh, the link for our, uh, our website. And again, of course, feel free to contact any of us, also uh, Carolis and his team, if you need to, to ask any questions. Mm. Perfect. So- Christina, uh, can you hear me? I can I can hear you. Um, can I you? I think it's your turn, but I, I I'm not able to hear you. Oh, um, Carolis, can you hear me? Okay, perfect. Um, guys, uh, if you can't hear me or if you have any problems with the audio, uh, please uh, write a message in the chat and we'll uh, make sure to fix it. But I'm quite sure that people can hear me for the moment, um, and I will continue with the presentation. So I have some tips for you from our international students who are currently studying in Aarhus. Um, first of all, here is some images from the city. So from uh, one image is of Aarhus city from above. Uh, that's the one that you can see out in the left side. And uh, just in the middle on the top, we have the Infinity Bridge, which is also a very popular place, uh, very Instagram friendly. Um, beautiful, beautiful place to take a walk. And we also have the forest just around it and the beach. We are really known for our beautiful old buildings as well, which you can see uh, they are in different colors and you will find them all around the city. Another uh, tip for you would be to uh, get a bike while you're here because everybody's uh, taking the bike pretty much everywhere. This is also cheaper for you in uh, in terms of transportation uh, to, to different places. And you will have everything within a reach here. So if you have a bike, then it shouldn't be a problem to, to go anywhere in Aarhus. Um, we have a picture also in the middle, but towards the right side of the little uh, river with the cafes as well. A beautiful place for uh, getting some nice food, but also for going out. Then we have a picture of the panoramic rainbow that I was talking about. So it gives you the 360 degree panoramic view over Aarhus in different colors. It's made by the very famous artist Olafur Eliasson. Here are some links that you can follow and read some more about housing because it's really important for you to know that housing is a very, very hot topic when once uh, once you have applied for your um, your your favorite program, because as we are the number one student city in Denmark, we are also having a, a very uh, high pressure on the, the housing market, and this means that we have a lot of students coming to Aarhus for the same things. So they will be looking for housing. They'll be looking for student jobs. In regards to housing, we therefore strongly emphasize that it's a good idea to be out in advance. Therefore, once you have applied for your master uh, or bachelor's program, you should also apply for housing as soon as possible after that. 
it's free for you to apply for housing and you can see uh, examples of the, the dormitories by following these links. And also you can uh, upload your, your application. As I mentioned, it's free for you to do the application. And let's say that you do not get admitted to your, your program, then you can just cancel the application. So it's just a really good idea for you to do in advance. Here are some places of the, 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 the places that you can study. So in the middle, we have the library that I was talking about just before. It's beautiful library with some silent rooms and also uh, a lot of books, obviously. We have plants inside also to uh, stimulate your creativity. And in the basement, you will find the massage chairs, gaming rooms, and so on. And also some beautiful images of the, the, the park that we have here. As I mentioned, we have a very flat hierarchy. Um, and, and therefore, you should also ex expect much of the, um, many of the tutorials to be, uh, be in with a with the encouragement to to do a discussion about things because we always uh, we are always really really critical towards you know what we are um, the knowledge that we are obtaining and therefore you should always uh, ask questions if you ever have any and this goes both to your fellow students but also for the professors. Um, so as it says, the students are much uh, are very active rather than passive. Um, there will be lectures and then afterwards you will have smaller tutorials, so classrooms where you will be uh, a smaller amount of students together, um, where you have the, the possibility to, to uh, discuss what you heard and in the lectures, but also to discuss readings and so on. Uh, we offer a wide, wide range of courses if you want to do supplementary courses or you want to take electives at Aarhus University. Um, yeah, strict rules, but nice people to help you navigate. Yeah, so um, that's, um, that's one of the students' uh, way to, to perceive it. Strict rules, I don't know, we have rules. And uh, you will need to, to follow these rules. And this goes for both the, the exams and, and the way that we are, uh, the way that we are practicing uh, in general, the lectures and the tutorials here. But, but what I would say is in general, it's actually not that strict. It's very much up to you whether you want it to be strict or not, because we practice a lot of self-discipline here, which means that it's up to you whether you want to read uh, 40 hours a week or you want to read four. So it's very different from student to student how much you will need to be reading. And for the exam part, you should expect uh, test exams. You should be expecting uh, written exams and oral exams as well. Do we have any questions so far? Um, yes. Uh, can you hear me, Christina? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, so we have uh, one question from Marta. Uh, mm -hmm. So she's asking, uh, is it easy to find a job as an international student if she can speak Danish at all? That is a great question, Martha. Um, and yes, it is. And it actually goes in hand in hand with what I was just about to present. So that's the career events. We have a lot of career events at Aarhus University. All of them are for free, of course. Um, so one way to find a student job would be to attend some of these events where you will meet representatives from the different companies. Here you will be able to ask what kind of international students uh, they, they are looking for it, they are looking for uh, interns or if they are looking to, to hire international students. You can also uh, get a little glimpse to what your future in the potential company might be. And uh, if you don't necessarily find a match during these events, you can always reach out and talk to our job consultants because our career consultants, they will help you uh, find a, a student job. They will help you build up a strong resume with the job experience that you already have. They will give you some recomm recommendations on what kind of jobs to apply for. They will also show you the job bank that we have where you can see the current available jobs. But 
Um, what we've heard from many uh, international students, and I would say students in general in, in, in Aarhus, is that uh, because there are many students, there are also many uh, students who are looking for the same, which is the, the student jobs, of course. So it's always a really good idea to not be picky in the beginning uh, and just um, go out and hand out your, your resumes to maybe uh, some cafes or shops in the beginning while looking for something more relevant uh, for you. So that's always a really good good way to go also because it shows on your resume that you have the will to work. And this is a really, really good uh, thing to show to, to potential new uh, employers. I know from many international students that that has actually uh, provided them with a job later on in the job search. And Mikolai asks, um, How long uh, does it take approximately to be able to start receiving the issue funding and how does the process of application for it look like? So the issue funding is actually nothing to do with the Aarhus BSS itself. We are not uh, administrating it. It's uh, something offered by the government and therefore uh, you should try to read more about it on su.dk. But what we can say about it is that if you, once you arrive here, if you get a legal Danish student job more than 10 hours a week, then you will have the ability to get uh, the SU funding. You will be applying for the SU funding and they will be asking for the documentation of the legal Danish student job. Once you have uh, been able to, to document it, uh, um, they will start processing it. Yeah, uh, and I can just add that it is between 10 and 20 hours a week. And besides that, I think it's important what Christina said. It has nothing to do with all spaces and all university. So you just need to look it up when you get here. And uh, yeah, just uh, follow the advice that Christina gave you. There was one question about uh, um, the language test when you are applying and whether you should... Uh, whether you should uh, notify that you've already registered for a language test. And if you've already registered for language tests, uh, then it's a really good idea to notify uh, OSH University with a specific date, because then they already know that you're in the system. Uh, but other than that, as soon as possible, it's always a good idea to, to let our admission office know when and uh, what date you're going to take the English language test. I hope that was uh, an answer to one of the questions also. Perfect. And just keep them coming. Um, I already talked a little bit about um, the, the student jobs. So um, I'll not be too, too deep into these, uh, these slides. But uh, we have great facilities when it comes to uh, supporting you find a student job. Uh, I can actually add to this, um, to this slide is that this is an example. Uh, check Facebook pages for, for the different departments. This is just the Department of Political Science. Other than that, most of the departments uh, that, that, uh, that we have will have a specific uh, Facebook page. This is a big thing in Denmark. Uh, so uh, look it up and see if you can find a Facebook page for the department that you're interested in. And then you can always browse through the AU Job Bank as well to see if something is interesting there. Mm. Yeah. So, to be more specific, tips for you. Apply for student housing as soon as possible. You can apply through AU Housing. You got the links already in this presentation. Or you can apply by yourself on the private market. We strongly encourage you to get involved. So this means get a student job or volunteer while you're here. Uh, by the way, if you uh, want to volunteer, we have a lot of uh, volunteer work at the university and it looks really good on the resume. So it's a good idea to do that while looking for a student job. Um, and always you should enjoy the Danish way of life. You should hygge a lot, which means get together and have a good time. And you should buy a bag. And also we strongly encourage you to learn some Danish, Danish because it really uh, helps you out uh, in, in your everyday life. So everybody talks English. Obviously, we have the corporate languages English in many of the bigger international companies. But it's always a good idea to just know the basics and show some curiosity about it. Also gives you more opportunities. 
Did you mention Christina about the the, the Learn Danish uh, programs? That uh, from... No, I didn't. I didn't actually. Yeah. But we do. We do have some uh, some different uh, opportunities to learn Danish. There is this specific language school uh, or language course called Learn Learn Danish or Lietdansk, which me which uh, offers uh, Danish language courses and. Uh, um, I know that they have been talking about making it free uh, again. It has been having some some fees connected to it, uh, and at the moment they are discussing whether it should be free again. Um, but but if it's not free once you arrive here, then the costs are quite small. So you will be paying for the first two modules, and once you have a decent uh, level of of Danish, then it will be for free for the rest. Yeah. And then finally. Let's stay in touch. We are on Facebook. We are on Instagram. We actually have international students who are taking over our Facebook and our Instagram, which means that we have some really good content in there that gives you an insight to what it's like to study at Aarhus BSS. Other than that, uh, we also have our emails here and feel free to contact us if you ever have any questions. Do you have uh, something to, to add, Renier? No, thank you. I hopefully you covered everything. I, the sound went off, so I just mm -hmm. had to go. But uh, yeah, how about you, Carolis? Uh, yeah, I think uh, pretty much uh, most important things are covered. And uh, like uh, Christina and Rainer mentioned, we will send uh, this presentation by email to all of you guys. So just uh, check uh, email. Uh, later this evening and you will uh, have it or uh, tomorrow morning uh, so you can double check everything and if you will have any questions you can uh, always welcome to contact us Lithuanian applicants can contact us to team in Lithuania and uh, applicants from Poland can contact us uh, to team in Poland so you also uh, see all this information in the emails so uh, thank you all of well, thanks all of you for participation and uh, just fill applications to Aarhus University. You can see that it's very nice to study there. Yeah, thank you for joining the webinar today. And uh, yeah, remember if you are ready to apply, please uh, apply as soon as possible because always for the last couple of days before 1st of March, it will be a hassle and the system will be overloading. So if you, you are ready, uh, feel free to, to send your application. Uh, and go through a uh, Casto team, uh, both places, uh, both countries. We are working with them uh, with uh, with this. So yeah, and of course, you're always always uh, welcome to send me and Christine an email if you have any other questions. Thank you for particip participating. Thank yeah. you guys. Bye Thank bye. You. Bye.